hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of kali linux version 2023.2 on vmware now the first thing we have to do is download and install vmware and to do that head to your chrome browser and then let's search for vmware so you can see the first page over here which heads to vmware.com so click on it and then up here click on products and then you see vmware workstation player over here so click on workstation player and from here you can download vmware for free so click on download for free and down here you can see vmware workstation player by the right click on go to downloads and this is vmware for linux and this is for windows so click on download under windows over here and it should start downloading i already have this file downloaded so i'm just gonna cancel it after downloading vmware workstation player we also have to download kali linux installer file so let's open a new tab and then head to kali.org now click on the download button right here and then it will take you down here click on installer images and here you go you can see kali linux 2023.2 and you can see complete offline installation and customization click on it and it should start downloading i already have it downloaded so i'm just gonna cancel it now we can close our browser and then open our download folder so here we go this is vmware workstation player and this is kali linux installer file now we have to first install vmware player so let's run it next agree to the terms and conditions next add vmware workstation console tools into the system path next 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 and then install and vmware has been successfully installed now let's click on finish now we can head to our start menu and then search for vmware let's open it now we are using vmware workstation 17 player for free so continue finish now we have to create a new virtual machine so click on create a new virtual machine and under install from we have to select installer dix image file and then browse the location of our installer file which should be in our download folder now you can see this is kali linux installer file we downloaded earlier open and then next now set the guest operating system to linux and then you can see the version over here we have to set to ubuntu 64 bit so just scroll down and you can see ubuntu 64 bit next and then enter a machine name let's call this kali linux okay and then next set the maximum disks you want this machine to use well anything above 40 gigabytes is okay but i'm going to give it about 70 gigabytes and that should be able to run all my programs next now we can click on customize hardware over here and then make changes here you can see this is our ram which is our memory we can increase to whatever we want now i have 16 gigabytes of ram on my pc and i'm going to allocate about 5 gigabytes to my virtual machine now you shouldn't allocate more than 40 percent of your system memory to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer also click on processor section over here and set the number of processor calls you want to allocate to your virtual machine as well so we're going to set this to three and that should be okay now go to display section and make sure 3d graphics is enabled it's already enabled here now we can click on close and then click on finish now we can click on play virtual machine to begin the installation so click on play now hit enter to continue with graphical install
select a language for the installation and continue also set your country and region and then set your keyboard layout continue now we can leave the host name as Kali continue leave the domain name field empty unless you have a domain name you want to set there continue enter your full name for your Kali Linux machine and then continue set up a username which we are going to use to log in later and then a password and then continue now select your time zone to get the correct time here we have to select guided use entire disk so it is going to use the entire disk we created and then partition it to install Kali Linux so let's continue and then we select our disk which should be shown here continue all files in one partition yes continue and then finish partitioning and write changes to disk continue write changes to disk yes continue and it should start installing the base system now the entire installation from here may take 30 minutes or more or even less it all depends on your hardware and how much resources you are located to your virtual machine so you just have to wait patiently now we have to set a desktop environment by default it is set to xface which is a very good desktop environment it looks really nice and everything works fine but if you need GNOME or KDE Plasma, you can just select it. But I'm okay with XFace, so I'm just going to continue with that. And it should continue the installation. Now select yes to install Grub Bootloader to our primary drive and then continue. And then select the drive which will be shown here. That's the only drive. Continue. Click on continue to reboot. And here we go. Now log in with your username and password. So basically this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux version 2023.2 on VMware. If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. If you had any issues while installing, don't forget to use the comment section to share the error you got and we'll be glad to assist you. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.